This is lesson 5-4, um, proportions for course 2. Please get out your notebooks and get ready to take some notes. 5-4 is on proportion. A proportion is, are two rates or fractions that are equal to each other. Make sure you get that copy in your notes. This here is the recipe for solving a proportion. If you could um, pause the video and copy this in your notes, that way you'll ha always have the steps to look back to when you're solving proportions. So the ingredients that you need for solving a proportion are three. You need um, two rates or fractions. You need an equal sign, and you're going to need a variable. These are the steps that you need to follow for um, solving a proportion. So number one, you're going to um, set the two rates equal to each other. Number two, you're going to cross multiply. Number three, you're going to set the cross products equal to each other. Number four, solve the equation for the variable. Number five, divide by the coefficient, the number that's in front of the variable. And then you're going to check the answer. So um, we'll look at an example here and see how it's done. So here's a proportion, and we have 12 over x equals 3 over 5, which we have two fraction, an equal sign, and a variable. So we're going to cross multiply, which means we're going to multiply 12 times 5 and x times 3. So when we multiply x times 3, we get 3x, and we multiply 12 times 5, we get 60. Then we're going to um, solve the equation, which means we're going to divide by the coefficient. So 3x divided by 3 is just x, and then 60 divided by 3 is 20. So you can check your proportion by plugging 20 in, this 20 in for the x. And we did this over here on the right hand side. So we plugged 20 in and we're going to cross multiply. 20 times 3 is 60. 12 times 5 is 60. So the answers are the same. Then your answer over here is okay. So that means this is okay. If the answers, if this answer here were different, if they weren't both 60, then your answer is wrong and you'd have to go back over here and redo the problem and see where you may have made a mistake. We're now going to look at some story problems and how we set up story problems. So if you want to pause the video and copy this down in your notes so you have something to look at when you're working on story problems, that would be wonderful. And then um, when you're done copying that down, come back to the video and we'll go over some examples. Okay, welcome back. Let's apply what you've just written down to a problem. So the first step that we want to look at is determine what two units we're comparing. So in this problem here, we have postcards cost $2.45 for five cards. How much will 13 cards cost? So we have $2.45 for five cards. So what we're comparing is dollars and cards. So you want to make a little key before you start setting up your proportion so you know where the numbers are going to go. So then we set up our proportion and we're going to look at our key and we're going to make sure that we have the same numbers in the numerator, the same number or the same units in the denominator, and that the numbers in each fraction are related. So when we look at $2.45 for four cards. We know that dollars are going to go in the numerator. So we have $2.45. And then in the denominator, we're going to put um, the five cards. And these two are related because they because five cards cost $2.45. So they have to be in the same fraction. So the fra second fraction, it says how much will... 13 cards cost. So that how much is going to be our variable x. And that's going to go in the numerator because that's what we're where the dollars or the money amount goes. And then the 13 cards 
will be in the denominator. So our proportion, if when we get rid of our um, words or our um, symbols, is 245 over 5 equals x over 13. And we're going to cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we have 5x equals, and I'm going to have to grab a calculator here, 245 times 13, which is 31 and 85 hundredths. Now we're going to solve this by dividing by the coefficient, just like in our recipe for solving a proportion, that's what it tells us to do. And x is equal to 31.85 divided by 5 is 6.37. Well, what does that 6.37 mean? 6.37 cards, 6.37, $6.37. So if we look up here, the x that we were looking for is dollars. So that means it's six dollars and 37 cents for 13 cards. Now you can always go back and check and make sure that that's equal. So 245 over 5 should equal 6.37 over 13. And we cross multiply. So 245 times 13 is 31 85, and then if we cross multiply here, 5 times 6.37, we get 3185. So these two numbers here are equal, which means that this answer here is correct. Okay, let's look at another example. Swimming goggles cost $84.36 for 12. At this rate, how much will 17 goggles cost for new members of the swim team? So our two units that we're um, comparing are cost and goggles. So when we set up our proportion, we're going to have $84.36 12 goggles. Here. Then at this rate, how much will 17 goggles cost? So the goggles we decided go in the denominator. And then the money, which we want to know how much will the new goggles cost, the 17 new goggles. So that's going to be our variable x that we're looking for. Once we have the proportion set up, we'll follow our recipe for solving a proportion and it says to cross multiply so we have 12 times x equals 8436 times 17 which is $1,434.12 and so then to solve the equation we're going to divide by 12 of x divided by 12 is just x, and then 1,343.12 divided by 12 is equal to 119.51. Now if we look back, we're looking for a cost, so 17 goggles is gonna, are going to cost $119.51. You can always make, your, make sure that your answer is right by going back and checking. 8436 over 12 should equal 119.51 over 17. And you can cross multiply. And they should be equal to each other. So 12 times 119.51 is... Here, 1, 4, 3, 4, point one two, and then if we multiply 17 times 84, 36, and we get the same thing, 1, 4, 3, 4, point one two. So since 
the cross products are equal to each other, then um, that answer of $119.51 is correct. So we have one final problem. I'd like you to pause the video and try this problem on your own, and then when you're finished, um, turn the video back on and we'll go over it together. Okay, let's see how you did. So Mandy runs four kilometers in 18 minutes. So right away in the first sentence, we can tell what our two um, units are, kilometers in minutes. So I'm gonna choose to, to write right pro, pro, proportion in kilometers over minutes. And you could flip it around and do minutes over kilometers, you're gonna get the same thing. So we have four kilometers in 18 minutes because those two are related because she rode, rode 14 kilometers or runs 14 kilometers in 18 minutes or four kilometers in 18 minutes. She plans to run in a 15 kilometer race. How long will it take her to complete the race? So we know that kilometers go in the numerator, so we have 15 kilometers, and we want to know x, how many minutes is it going to take her to do that? So we have our proportion set up. We can cross multiply and solve. 4 times x is 4x, and that should be equal to 18 times 15, which is... 270. We're going to solve the proportion by dividing by the coefficient. 4x divided by 4 is 1x, and 270 divided by 4 is 67.5. So it is going to take her 67 and one half minutes to run 15 kilometers. If you wanted to change that, you could change that to hours because we know that 60 minutes is one hour. So it would be one hour, seven and a half minutes. But it's fine leaving it um, just 10 minutes. But either one of those answers would be correct. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks.